Hello, I'm Joel Morris. Before we go any further, how about a round of applause for the rest of the team? <laughs> Linux added school is a relatively recent phenomenon, but it already ha it has attracted a lot of positive attention from our administration and school families, and even outside of our school. Unfortunately, for most of those people, that's where it ends. Their reaction is, what happens at your school is great, but we can never do it at my school. Well, I'm here to tell you that such statements weren't true when we started in September, and they aren't true now. Aspen Academy did, in fact, do something special by starting the Linux Club, but this is something that any school can do. This includes your school. Yes, I said your school. As Chase mentioned, other are already taking the idea of using Linux at school and making it their own. The question is not, why does Aspen Academy use this Linux? The, the question is not even, why don't other schools? The question is, what's stopping you? If you feel like what I'm saying does not apply to you, or you are not the right person for this, just listen and see if this makes sense to you. We've come up with a few ideas to help people get started with Linux wherever they are a school, a community center, a library, a church, a temple, whatever. If Chief did his job and persuaded you, and you're willing to consider using open source with students, here are some things you'll need to get started. Number one, a supervisor. You will need someone who is familiar enough to get you started. It is not necessary to be an expert. You, will just, you just have to be willing to learn something new. Mr. Kraft is a prime example of a supervisor. When he started the Penguin Corps, he was a social studies teacher. He didn't even have a tech job. Other people have started the same way. Number two, the go-ahead from the administration. Each school has a different way of doing extracurricular activities. How does your school do it? Is it after school? Does your school charge a fee to students? Find out how it works there and put that into your plan. More likely than not, if your school has clubs, they are looking for more ideas for clubs and more adults to run them. Make yourself available. Number three, computers. If you're going to have a kids Linux club, you will need to have computers for kids to use. Luckily, Linux runs very well on old computers, so it doesn't need to be new or expensive machine. The Penguin Core uses recycled computers, all of which we got donated to us or retired by our school. And take it from us, if you're getting the word out that your kids are recycling computers, people will give you computers. Number four, software. Your computers will need an operating system and apps. If you're using Linux, then you're getting software for free. What's more, if you get, want to have your kids recycle computers with Linux, you can get them away. The open source software license allow you to do that as much as you want. In fact, the people who wrote these programs want you to get them away. Number five, kids. Kids using Linux is a whole point of having a Linux club. Having the kids learning new stuff keeps it fun. And we found that once you get going, the kids' enthusiasm becomes contagious. And their friends come in too. You will probably, you will probably not have a shortage of kids who want to do this. Number six, space and time. If you're going to have a Linux club at school, that club will need a place to meet and to keep with stuff. And club activities will have to fit into your schedule for both things. A good thing to keep in mind is to work with your administrators and be flexible. Remember, they will probably be pretty excited about the idea and will want to support it if they can. Not sure how to start? Well, here's how. The first tip is to start small. Try Linux yourself. Choose the version you wish to work with and put it on a computer. Learn the layout of the desktop and what apps you wish to use. We recommend Ubuntu and Zubuntu, but there are many versions to choose from. You can find these versions online. 
A resource you could use is the Linux Club Guide, written by our very own Mr. Stu Karoff. This gu the guide gives a lot of helpful suggestions about how to get a Linux Club started and what you should do once you start it. It's available online at www.linuxclubguide.com. We also brought some printed copies with us if you'd like to leave with one. Talk to your administrators about starting a new club. It's the kind of thing they like to hear. If you're an administrator, talk to your teachers to see if someone wants to take this on. Recruit kids. Kids love tech and will get pretty excited about doing something new with computers. That has been our experience everywhere we have gone. Get computers. This is easier than you think. Remember, they don't have to be new and fancy. Many people and even some businesses will want to give you computers for your club. Your school might have some they don't need anymore. And there are plenty of places to get computers cheaply. Minnesota has a surplus exchange where they sell off places, or they sell off computers that the government doesn't need anymore. And there are thrift stores, free geek Twin Cities, ticked up in eBay. Linux clubs have gotten computers from all these sources, and so can you. Do software and hardware lessons. Use stuff from a curriculum tips you see online, or simply make something up. There's nothing wrong with learning right alongside your kids. Remember, if you really screw something up and the computer doesn't work anymore, just grab the install drive and start it over. With free software, you're free to do that as often as you want to. Our biggest project became closing our school's digital divide, and this year, we had a lot of success with that. Maybe this is what your school needs, and after a little bit of trial and error, we found out what works. Get computers. Have kids recycle computers and give computers away. It works. This isn't about just having fun. This is about making a difference. Do you want to change the world? Start by being crazy enough to think you can. Thank you very much.